the constitution of india preamble we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution hello my dear children how are you i hope all are doing well so children you have to eat health and hygienic food drink plenty of water and always be safe okay so always wear mask and use sanitizer whenever you are going out take more care isn't it okay so let's start our today's science class today we are going to start with a new lesson that is lesson 9 seeds and sprouts so the big question here is how do i help a seed grow so how i can help a seed to grow and overview of this lesson is in this lesson we will understand the need for seeds to move away from their parent plants learn about the different ways in which the seeds move away from their parent plants explore the functions of the different parts of a seed and the various stages in its growth so let's do a pep activity so in this pep activity read the following story and answer the questions that follow there was once an old man who bought a house with an open land around it after a hot summer the weather turned windy and rainy two weeks later the weather was pleasant and sunny soon the old man observed tiny plants growing on his land in a few weeks the land had some beautiful plants with flowers the old man also observed that some animals birds and butterflies started visiting his garden soon his land became lush and green filled with a variety of plants the man felt peaceful and happy watching these wonders of nature every day he thanked the wind rain the sun and all the animals for bringing joy into his life so here it's a story of an old man and old man brought a new house in an open land after a hot summer the weather turned into windy and rainy two weeks later weather became pleasant and sunny soon the old man observed some plants growing there and when the plants grow then certain animals birds and butterflies started visiting his garden and he is leading a peaceful life now how do you think the seeds from which the plants grew reached the old man's land engine irikkum ee old man inde land ile plants vannade nu ningalku parayan pattu it may be due to some gardener or farmer planted the seeds or through the wind the seeds came on the land and new plants arise over there isn't it so you can write the answer there next next question which of the following do you think help the plant grow so what are the things which help which is helping the plant to grow so you can tick the soil the rain and the sun these are the factors which helps a plant to grow okay all living things reproduce many plants reproduce through seeds seeds are usually present inside the fruit of plants in this lesson we will learn how seeds grow into new plants we already studied in our lower classes that all the living things are reproducing and in this chapter also we are dealing with what we studied earlier so i will just read it you can read the content well and you can get the concept Okay. many plants are reproducing through seeds isn't it so the seeds are usually present inside the fruits 
so in this lesson we will learn how the seeds grow into new plants so let's see a small question here what does a seed do for a plant or a plant ni vendite or seed endana cheynathu that we will discuss in this lesson okay different kinds of the plants produce different kinds of seeds seeds vary in shape size color and other aspects of their appearance so we know that the different plants are producing different kinds of the seeds and the seeds are of various size shape and color isn't it okay so a fruit may have one or many seeds some fruits such as mangoes and plums have only one seed while the other fruits such as apples and watermelons have many seeds this all thing we know well some fruits such as avocados and peaches have big seeds like while some fruits such as avocados and peaches have big seeds while some fruits such as oranges and grapes have small seeds so here you can see the pictures of avocado peach orange and grapes and the seeds in them seeds such as dandelion and maple have wing or hair like structures attached to them see here dandelion seeds with hair ee dandelion endana appuppan daadi kandittille ningale appuppan daadi ella parthi kalikkarille so this having hair seeds with hair maple seeds with wings we eat the seeds of the plants such as corn rice bean and wheat the seeds are known as edible seeds some seeds are edible edible parnal endana namukku kalikkan pattum le we are eating that seeds and that examples are corn rice bean and wheat so you can see the picture here corn rice bean wheat some edible seeds such as black pepper mustard fenugreek and cumin are used as spices they add flavor to the food we eat nammal regular basis la use yarulla kaduge ulunne pinne endakkana uluva jeeragam idella it is adding flavor to our food which we eat so see such seeds are edible edible nu parna endana adu kalikkan pattunadana so i hope you are clear about this seeds so activity 9.2 you do as home fun it's very easy okay children the features of a seed help it in several ways let us learn about one of the ways in which the features of the seed are useful to it so now let's do an activity that is activity 9.3 figure 1 shows two images of young plants observe them and answer the questions that follow so image a and image b you can see here certain young plants so first question which of the plants do you think will grow better the plant in image a or the plants in image b so you can tick the answer plants in image a why do you think so so why do you think that image a plant can grow well so why it is so because they are not that much crowded isn't it space is there in between the plants they have been planted with a sufficient space between them so that the plants can get enough of everything that they need so these plants are not crowded and they are getting sufficient space for growing so that's why this image a plants are growing very faster and well okay as we have learned plants cannot move from one place to another if all seeds of a parent plant fall near it the plants that grow from them will have to complete with their parents for sunlight water nutrients and space for their growth hence in order to grow well seeds have to move away from their parent plant this process by which seeds are scattered away from the parent plant is called seed dispersal apo we all know that the plants can't move from one place to another if the seeds fall near the parent parent plant inde aduthenne seeds fall cheyumbo endha pattiya they have to share all the sunlight nutrients and water from the parent plant and it will be crowded so for that what these plants are doing these plants are falling off their seeds avare seeds okke kore apart korche porthekke thallittana seeds ellam veeja so they will get enough space 
calories and enough nutrients enough water everything uh, such type of this process is known as seed dispersal seed dispersal it is falling apart from the parent plant for its well growth le growth well aite avan vendite aanu ingane oru process plants il nadakkunnathu so this process is known as seed dispersal different elements such as wind and water help carry the seeds away from the parent plant animals including humans also help to disperse them all living and non living things that aid in seed dispersal are called agents of dispersal the plants cannot move from one place to another so these if the plants are dispersing their seeds in their own അവിടെ താഴെ തന്നെ അടുത്ത് തന്നെ ബിസൈഡ്സിൽ തന്നെ ഡിസ്പോസ് ചെയ്യുകയാണെങ്കിൽ എന്ത് പറ്റും ദ വിൽ ഷെയർ ദീസ് ന്യൂട്രിയൻസ് വാട്ടർ മിനറൽസ് എവ്രിത്തിങ് അല്ലേ അപ്പോൾ സൺലൈറ്റ് എല്ലാം അവർ ഷെയർ ചെയ്യും പിന്നെ അടുത്ത് കൺജസ്റ്റഡ് ആയിട്ട് വളരുമ്പോൾ അവർക്ക് ആ വളർച്ച കറക്റ്റായിട്ട് വരില്ല സോ ഫോർ ദാറ്റ് ദി സീഡ്സ് ആർ ഡിസ്പേഴ്സിങ് എ പാർട്ട് ഫാർ ഫ്രം ദ പാരൻറ്റ് പ്ലാൻ സോ ദ വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് ഇനഫ് സ്പേസ് സഫിഷ്യൻറ്റ് സ്പേസ് കിട്ടും പ്ലസ് സഫിഷ്യൻ്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ന്യൂട്രിയൻസ് മിനറൽ സൺലൈറ്റ് എല്ലാം കിട്ടും സോ ദീസ് പ്ലാൻസ് ക്യാൻ ഗ്രോ വെൽ ആൻഡ് ദിസ് പ്രോസസ്സ് ഈസ് നോൺ ആസ് സീഡ് ഡിസ്പേഴ്സൽ അപ്പോൾ ഈ സീഡ് ഡിസ്പേഴ്സലിന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് ചില ഏജൻസ് ഹെൽപ്പ് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് എന്തൊക്കെയായിരിക്കും ആ ഏജൻസ് യെസ് ഓഫ് കോഴ്സ് വിൻഡ് ആനിമൽസ് ബേർഡ്സ് ഈവൻ ഹ്യൂമൻസ് അല്ലേ നമ്മളെല്ലാവരും ഹെൽപ്പ് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് ഈ സീഡ് ഡിസ്പേഴ്സലിന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് സോ സച്ച് ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് പേഴ്സൺസ് വി കോൾ ആസ് ഏജൻസ് ഓഫ് ഡിസ് seed dispersal can be dispersed in many ways they have special features that determine the agents and method of their dispersal let us learn about how the various agents carry out seed dispersal appo namukku ini nokkam enginiyana ee agents help cheynathu by wind so first of all we are going to discuss about wind some seeds that are small in size and light in weight are easily dispersed by wind to far away places they have hair or feather like structures that help them float away with even a light breeze examples of seeds that are dispersed by wind include cotton wood and dandelion appo ee wind help cheynad endha adinte seed valare light weight aayirikkum appo light weight avumbo shakthamayittu kaat adikkumbol idu parannu poyittu ve വേറെ സ്ഥലത്ത് വീഴുന്നു അവിടെ ആ ചെടി വളരുന്നു അതിനുള്ള എക്സാമ്പിൾസ് ഒന്ന് നമുക്ക് പറയാം ഹെയർ ലൈക്ക് അല്ലെ സീഡിൽ ഹെയർ ഉള്ള ഏതാണ് നമ്മൾ കുറച്ച് മുമ്പ് കണ്ടത് ഡാൻഡ്ലിയോൺ അപ്പൂപ്പൻ താടി പിന്നെ കോട്ടൺ പ്ലാൻ ഇതിൻ്റെയൊക്കെ സീഡ് പാരൻറ്റ് പ്ലാൻറ്റിൽ നിന്നും എപ്പാർട്ടായിട്ട് വീണ് അവിടെ പുതിയ ചെടി മുളച്ചു വരുന്നു സോ ഐ ഹോപ്പ് യു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റുഡ് അബൌട്ട് ദ വിൻഡ് ഏജ് നൗ ലെറ്റ്സ് ഡിസ്കസ് അബൌട്ട് അനിമൽസ് Some seeds are enclosed in brightly colored fruits. Humans and animals eat the fruits and throw away or excrete seeds helping to disperse them. Some examples of such fruits are guava, watermelon and mango. These animals എങ്ങനെയാണ് അവിടെ ഏജൻസ് ആയിട്ട് ഉണ്ടാവുന്നത് നല്ല ബ്രൈറ്റ് കളേഡ് ഫ്രൂട്ട്സ് ഉണ്ടാവും അല്ലേ പാരൻറ്റ് പ്ലാന്റിൽ അപ്പം ആ പാരൻറ്റ് പ്ലാന്റിൽ നിന്ന് ആ ബ്രൈറ്റ് കളേഡ് ഫ്രൂട്ട്സ് എടുത്തിട്ട് അവർ കഴിക്കും കഴിക്കുമ്പോൾ ഒന്നുമില്ലെങ്കിൽ കഴിച്ചിട്ട് ആ കുരുവിനെ അവർ വലിച്ചെറിയും അല്ലേ ഹ്യൂമൻസൊക്കെ ആ കുരു കളയും പിന്നെ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ എക്സ്ക്രീറ്റ് ഇഫ് ദ അനിമൽസ് ആർ ഈറ്റിംഗ് ദാറ്റ് ഫ്രൂട്ട് ത്രൂ എക്സ്ക്രീഷൻ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഗോയിങ് ഔട്ട് ആൻഡ് ഇൻ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഡിസ്പേഴ്സിങ് ഇൻ അനദർ ഏരിയ now let's see many plants also produce fruits or seeds that have hooks or spines which attach to the furry bodies of animals or feathers of birds these seeds also get attached to the clothes or bags of humans the, the seeds are then carried some distance away from the parent plant where they fall off some examples of such seeds are the cockleber and tiger nail see cock liver with spines tiger nail with hooks and cock liver seed stuck on a dog so certain spines or hook le adu nammal ipo humans aanengilum chella animals avade poittu ingane mutti kaynalum adilike avare attach cheyidittu adu kore salathe kore dooram avare poi kayne shesham avade adu veerunu pudhiya chedi undavunu next by explosion in some plants seeds are found inside the pods 
when the seeds inside are fully formed the pods dry up and explode this causes the seeds to fly out and fall away from the parent plant examples of the plants that explode to scatter their seeds include pea and balsam പിന്നെ ചിലത് എന്താണ് അതിൻ്റെ ഉള്ളിൽ തന്നെ ഇരുന്നിട്ട് ഉണങ്ങി അത് പൊട്ടി തെറിക്കുന്നു തെറിച്ചിട്ട് അത് വേറെ സ്ഥലത്ത് വീഴുന്നു പുതിയ ചെടികൾ ഉണ്ടാവുന്നു സോ ത്രൂ എക്സ്പ്ലോഷൻ ഓൾസോ സീഡ് ഡിസ്പേഴ്സൽ ഈസ് ടേക്കിംഗ് പ്ലേസ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റുഡ് സോ ദ വിൻഡ് ഈസ് എൻ ഏജൻറ്റ് ദെൻ പ്ലാൻസ് ആനിമൽസ് ഹ്യൂമൻസ് ആർ ഏജൻറ്റ് ആൻഡ് സം ഓഫ് ദം സം ഓഫ് ദം ആർ സ്റ്റക്ക് ഓൺ ദ ഫർ ഓർ ദ ബോഡി ഓഫ് ദ ആനിമൽ ഓർ വിത്ത് ദ ഹ്യൂമൻസ് ബാഗ് ഓർ സംതിങ് എക്സസറീസ് സച്ച് ദാറ്റ് അല്ലേ എക്സസറീസിലൊക്കെ പറ്റി പിടിച്ച് അത് വേറെ സ്ഥലത്ത് പോയി വീഴുന്നു ആൻഡ് അനദർ വൺ വി ഹാവ് സീൻ ത്രൂ എക്സ്പ്ലോഷൻ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ബൈ വാട്ടർ Some plants that live along streams and rivers have seeds with a spongy covering which helps them float on water. Some examples of the seeds dispersed by water are coconut, water lily and lotus. ചിലത് എന്താണ് അതിൽ സ്പോഞ്ചി ഔട്ടർ കവറിംഗ് ഉണ്ടാവും അതിനെ വാട്ടറിൽ ഫ്ലോട്ട് ചെയ്യാൻ അതിനെ സഹായിക്കുന്നു ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഡിസ്പേഴ്സിങ് ബൈ ദ ഹെൽപ്പ് ഓഫ് വാട്ടർ എക്സാമ്പിൾസ് ആർ കോക്കനട്ട് വാട്ടർ ലില്ലി ലോട്ടസ് ഓക്കെ when conditions are favorable the seeds that have been dispersed grow into new plants appo endanengilum adinde favorable aayittulla oru conditions varanengil ee seed dispersal nadakkunu pudhiya plants undavunu so these all are the agents of the seed dispersal okay so now let's see an audio visual on this topic seed dispersal Seed dispersal refers to the movement or transport of seeds far away from the parent plant. Plants use different ways to disperse seeds. Let's see some of the ways in which plants disperse seeds. Wind. Some seeds like that of the dandelion are light enough to be blown away by the wind and get dispersed. Some seeds like the poppy lie within a structure that has holes on top. When the wind blows this structure shakes and the poppy seeds are scattered around bursting some fruits like the pea burst open when ripe to disperse the seed far and away water some seeds like the coconut are very light and float in water they get dispersed by water to far off places animals some fruits like the cleaver have tiny hooks on them when animals pass by seeds get attached to the animal using these hooks these seeds are then dispersed by the animals some fruits like the blackberry and apple are very sweet to eat when an animal like the crow eats the fruit the seeds get ingested but not digested they are passed through the animal's body unharmed and often dispersed elsewhere so children from this audio visual we came to know that various agents of the seed dispersal isn't it so now let's do an activity that is activity 9.4 revisit question 1 of pep 9.1 mention any agents of dispersal that you had identified so the first question what you can answer yes you can identified as agents of dispersal so you can write the agent of dispersal second one the dispersal of the seeds is helpful to seeds plants both seeds and plants so you have to tick both seeds and plants and the third question is how is it helpful can you think how is it helpful yes so you can write the uh, the seeds may not have to complete with their parent plants for water sunlight nutrition and space for their growth seed dispersal will help the plant reproduce by spreading its seeds to other places so it, the reproduction can takes place by spreading its seeds to other places 
Okay. Third question is from the old man's garden, the seeds may get dispersed to other places. Yes. So you have to tick the answer. Yes. And the fourth question is if yes, name two agents that may help in the dispersal of the seeds. So what are the two agents which help in the dispersal of the seeds? Yes, you can write wind, water, birds, animals. Okay. Next activity 9.5 you can omit it you can put a cross mark over there now let's do 9.6 activity so that activity is important so you have to see that. So complete the table using the example provided here some picture of seeds they have given special features of the seeds and how the features of the seeds help with dispersal okay so here the first plant pea plant the seeds are enclosed in a pod so you have to write the special features as the seeds are enclosed in a pod and how the features help the dispersal the pod explodes to scatter the seeds the first one they have given and from the second one onwards we are going to write and dandelion you can see here so what are the special features of this seeds so you can write here the seeds are small light in weight and have hair or feather like structures so how the features of the seeds help with dispersal their features help them float away with the wind or breeze so you can write the answer there next is coconut isn't it the seeds have a spongy outer covering have you noticed le tengeda molile spongy outer covering that is their special features and with the help of their special features it help the seed to float on water isn't it so you can write here the seeds floats on water and gets dispersed to a new place next is the seeds are enclosed in brightly colored fruits. So here you can draw a mango, guava, watermelon or whatever it is. You can draw a picture over here and it's a special feature is it is enclosed in bright colored fruits. And how it is helping? Humans and animals eat fruits and throw away or excrete the seeds helping to disperse them. Okay children. Next. Next is this spine type or hook type one. So the special features are the seeds have spines on them and how it is helping the seeds get caught in the fur or hair of animals. Next is the seeds are enclosed in a pod and are light in weight with hair like structures on them and the pod explodes and scatters the seeds, wind carries the seeds. So you can have the example of cotton plant. Next is the seeds are covered with hooks. The seeds get caught on the fur or hair of animals. So I hope that you are clear about this agents of dispersal and how this seed dispersal is happening with the help of such agents. Next activity, it is a fun activity, it is 9.7, you can frame a story upon the basis of this seed dispersal and you can give a title and you can do it as home fund children, okay. So 9.7 is a home fund for you again, okay. Now we understood seeds helps the plants to reproduce. Many seeds have special features that help them get dispersed and move away from their parent plant. So I hope that you have understood the seed dispersal and the agents of the seed dispersal and what are the favorable conditions which are helping the seeds to form a new plant. Okay, so now you can identify the characteristics of seeds, describe how the characteristics of the seeds aid in dispersal okay children so by this I'm concluding today's class you have to read the content and you have to do the activity two home funds I have given that also you have to do okay so okay children so let me conclude bye bye take care and be healthy and safe thank you bye bye